in there that uh, wasn't for public viewing. So I wanted to do another quick one and uh, I've now had about uh, a little over 24 hours with the touch. So to start off with, I'll have the light on here. I just want to show you a quick comparison of the touch and the T-Mobile dash. The touch is on the left and the dash is on the right. And the dash itself is a small device. And as you can see, the HTC touch is even smaller than that, a little bit shorter. Uh, thicknesses are about the same. And the widths, as you can see uh, on the right side there, the dash is a little bit wider than the touch. And that'll be it for the dash. So let me turn off the light and we can see a little bit more about the touch here. Now, the touch has a few new things on it. One is the uh, touchscreen interface, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, the device itself, um, I have a lot of pictures on my blog, you know, showing uh, the details around the device. It has that great T-Mobile Dash uh, rubberized feel, the black color. But let's start off with the customized uh, HTC Today screen. So as you can see here, this is the Today screen. This is the home button, which gives you a nice big clock. And I walked around work today showing this off, and the first thing people mentioned was, wow, look at the digital clock on there. You know, a lot of times on a cell phone it's hard to find the clock. So this is a nice little feature, the home. Uh, it also gives you um, your text message, emails, and phone calls, pending or missed calls. And if you push the next icon, this will give you weather. Right now it's downloading uh, data for Seattle. I haven't gone to the weather for a little while. So as you can see, there it is, 54 degrees. And if I tap it right here again, I see the four day forecast. Uh, as you can see, we got a decent weekend on Friday, a little bit of rain on Saturday, and nice on Sunday. And then the last icon is some shortcuts. Now, these are the default ones, and you can go and customize them all you want. There's brightness controls, there's applications to launch, active sync, uh, lock the device, that kind of thing. So that's a really cool today screen that uh, comes on the HTC Touch. Now, the Touch has this uh, new technology called uh, Touch Flow. And as you can see, uh, maybe you can't see, but the, the plastic for the display is completely flat and goes down below uh, the screen. Now, if I start with my finger pretty much on the HTC logo below the screen and I swipe it up, this little uh, touch flow begins. Now, it's a, called a cube, but there's actually three sides to it, uh, three displays, and I'll show that to you. There's music, photos, and video. So this is kind of your multimedia display. And in just a second, I'll go into more detail on that because this time I've actually loaded up some, some music and photos and things. So, And then if you swipe it right or left, depends on which way you want to do it, uh, the second slide is some shortcuts to applications. There's email, text messaging, tasks, Internet Explorer, uh, communications manager, and your calendar. It's a quick way to access that. And then the last one, I don't have pictures there, but I do have some names of my family. You can add nine quick shortcuts to dialing people. And then down here you can manage your contacts and the phone, that kind of thing. So let's go back to the first one. Uh, I do have some music, so if I was to just tap the music, it starts the Windows Mobile 6 uh, audio manager that's on this device, which is a little bit different than the uh, Windows Media Player that you may be used to. As you can see, it's a touch interface, uh, skin on it. I mean, it's easy to start music, so I've got a song on there. I can I'll go ahead and start it up. And as you can see, there is a single mono speaker in the back. But as you can see, at 80% volume, it's actually it's quite loud for a mono speaker, and the sounds are pretty good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let that play for a second and go back. And as you can see, now on the touch flow, let me pause that. As you can see now on the touch flow, it actually shows and lets me control the music right from the main touch flow screen, which is very cool. Now, if I also touch photos, it takes me to the Windows Mobile 6 pictures and videos. Uh, most of my pictures are actually stored on the storage card, so I'd like to go to the storage card, and I actually have them in a different folder, which I wish it would start in. But see, there's some pictures. So then if I was to tap on a picture of my daughters, it'd pop up, I could view pictures and that kind of thing. One thing you'll notice as I'm moving around here is at first I was worried about uh, trying to tap the X or the OK in the corner, but HTC has done something where the display will actually recognize uh, a finger. It must be a surface area thing. It'll recognize a finger, so I just 
push up in the corner and it pushes my X or I don't have to actually tap the X. I can just put my thumb up in the corner and it will do that for me. Whereas if I take the stylus and touch that, I actually have to touch right on the X. Videos is the same as pictures. It launches pictures and videos. So that's pretty much um, the touch flow kind of skin thing. Now let me show you a few more things with it. Uh, to close it, you actually slide it down and there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the end key. Take me back to the uh, today's screen. Um, let's say now I'd like to, uh, um, sh what am I going to show here? I wanted to show, let's go to a, um, let's go to a note. No, I don't have a note. Let's go to Internet Explorer. Or contact, contacts, I tried that before. That's where I got in trouble. Let's go to uh, Internet Explorer. I'm hitting the wrong one. Let me do my touch flow. That's the easiest way. So go to touch flow, Internet Explorer. There we go. So it starts with, let me go to my favorites, and I've got um, blog lines that I like to use for my RSS reading. Start up blog lines here. I'm on a T-Mobile Edge connection. I don't have uh, Wi-Fi connected at the moment. So it's loading up uh, my Edge. I actually do have a pretty decent Edge connection here at home, though. So let's go to my feeds. What I was going to show you is uh, something within the touch flow. that They've taken it to all the applications that have scroll bars you also have the ability to use the touch flow and your finger to easily manipulate uh, the screen. So if I, now I messed this up before because I was trying to pull down like a scroll bar. You actually go opposite. So see, if I start here and I roll it up, there we go. I'm scrolling through my feeds. It's, and then if you want to go faster, you can just speed it up like that. It's a great way to browse through web pages. Now, if you actually have uh, documents, or web pages not in one column format, you can actually use it to go side pan side to side as well. It's very cool technology and a great way to turn this into a single-handed device. Um, go ahead and stop. And as you can see, there's also one thing that I noticed was there's no soft keys at the bottom. But again, with the thumb, when you press anywhere in that look in that location there, it'll pop up those menus without actually tapping right on the soft key itself. It's just that area of the screen. It's great. Tap up here to the X, we're back. Well, another thing that they included was the HTC Task Manager. So you can actually turn this X into an X that will close the programs. That's an option that you can do. Or you could quickly manage your different uh, applications as they're running. So that's pretty much it of TouchFlow and the HTC Touch. Thanks.